What's up, everybody? Lead the one up here. And guys, I want to go ahead and give you some gameplay and talk about just kind of the overall menu here for Final Fantasy VII, The First Soldier. I had a blast playing this beta, and I'm really looking forward to this game's official release. But we're going to go ahead and jump into the barracks first. Now, this is pre-recorded, so I'm going to talk probably a little bit fast to catch up with, my, uh, with, with me actually showing off everything in the game itself. So in the locker first, you do get to choose different skins for your character. Now, this is more like body skin. So that was the military one that I just showed. And then there's a the regular candidate fatigues. Uh, there was a Turk one at one point, which is really cool. Here, I believe, is more like a head skin. This might be more like uh, facial accessories. And this looks like it'd be a weapon accessory option. Now, there is a Buster Sword one that you can get that I believe would have gone there. And then here, you basically just get different emotes. Now, these are ones that the game automatically just came with. And so I'm assuming you can get more. Well, actually, no, not even assuming. I did see more in the shop. So you can get more in the shop because I did see that there was like the there was the squat uh, emote that was really cool. And essentially, uh, I think like there's different either if you have a weapon or if you don't have a weapon is what it looked like to me there. Um, now, going into the armory here, basically what I do is I just scroll through all the different weapons here so you can get a, a, get a look at all the different types of um, the classes of weapons and each one within those classes. So there's assault. There's the light machine gun, uh, there's shotgun, there's the uh, submachine guns, the sniper rifles. Did I miss one? I think it might be the handgun. So again, I just quickly go through all the different ones here. And I haven't seen any yet where you can buy a different kind of like style of that weapon, but I believe it's mostly skins because I did see skins in the actual shop itself. Now, I do jump into the melee section here. Uh, for each class, you know, if you're a, if you're a uh, warrior, you're going to get the swords. A sorcerer will get the staff and then so forth. The monk will get the hand in hand. And so I didn't see anything within the actual shop, but I'm obviously going to assume you can get different skins. So you could probably get the weapon sword. Oh, the weapon sword. You could probably get the buster sword for the warrior skin. And I could imagine so forth and so forth. In the garage, I think it's the same thing here. Uh, you see bikes and all these different vehicles in game. So I imagine you could probably get different um, skins for them. Jumping into profile here, you can mess around with titles. The way that I've seen titles being locked is you just complete those conditions that it shows. So the one that I have equipped was the Reaper one, which was down seven enemy candidates in a single match. And I'm sure there's probably some other ones you could unlock maybe over time or also within the shop. You can also see your battle record. Uh, you can see I got 20 kills, 11 matches played, uh, your solo record versus your team record, uh, your KDR and whatnot. And then in basic info, it kind of looks like it's more of just like your history, right? You can change your title plate, your name, mastery. This is important. This is where there's a different classes and you want to pick one and use it the most because that's essentially how you level up in this game. Each class has a, a trait, which is what you see there for the warrior fearless charge, and then you'll get abilities and skills. Now to unlock more abilities and to unlock more skills, you have to play as that class and level that class up because when you level up, it kind of has a little bit like a, like a battle plan, a little battle passing at the bottom there. Not that you have to spend money, but just to level up, you have to play as that class. I believe getting kills is probably one of the primary, primary ways of actually uh, leveling up and getting XP for that class. But as you do, as you can see in the bottom there, you do get those little, it looked like little uh, icons. So you get the little like mastery icon for like the monk, the warrior, the sorcerer. And when you get those, you redeem those to get the skills. As you can see, it's locked. This is zero out of one. So you have to use one of those to go ahead and unlock that skill. And so far, you'll see me scrolling through here at this point. I've gone through all of them. But uh, it, it looks like, I mean, I've only gotten to, I think, like, level, what was it, level 4 or 5, I think, of the actual Warrior one, because that's the only class I've been playing as. But I'm assuming, you know, over time, right, maybe they'll have added in more abilities and more skills. You can also get some guild that shows there, because here's the actual specialty shop right here. So they did just drop a new skin, the Unknown Entity, which is from the remake, which is pretty cool, the Chef's Knife. Uh, you can see Iron Blade right there, and this is the Peace Exchange, which is, in order to get these, you don't get it from, you don't um, buy these with guild. You buy these with little um, special boxes and crates that you find within the actual game themselves. And then you get those puzzle pieces by randoms, like RNG. And you can see they had like special outfits just for that. So in the mode selection, there's tutorial, chocobo farm, which I know nothing about just yet. I then ranked and unranked matches. And in the side here, I pretty much just show like there's a friend system, right? You can uh, get into some teams and whatnot. But essentially right now they are doing ranked. They did switch it up. Uh, and then real quickly, I did go through the options and the settings here. So you can see all the things that you can mess with. You can change uh, the automatic pickups. There is the style of game. You know, do you want to have it where like it's automatically firing when you're aiming, floating fire, they had it. And essentially, Essentially, I just go quickly through each one. Now, if you want to see them, uh, the different options here, I encourage you to obviously go ahead, pause the video because again, I just quickly ran through this because we are currently searching for a match to start. 
or never mind, did I not even click it yet? I might not even click it yet at this point. But again, here's kind of like your welcome screen. Like, here's what's going on, new uh, new outfits, rank matches, and so forth and so forth. I think now is when I begin. Again, this is pre-recorded, and I'm just doing more like a voiceover at this point. There we go. Now I hit start to go ahead and get to that matchmaking. Uh, but we are right now, for the beta at least, it did switch from like non-ranked to now ranked matches. And pretty much, I think I covered everything. There's a chat system in the bottom left corner there you can see. So you can do like a global chat or a team chat. Um, there's a challenges in the top left corner. Completing those challenges will also give you gil. That's kind of like your daily challenge board and whatnot. Um, and I think I pretty much covered everything on this screen here because I, this is essentially what I wanted to cover. Um, obviously, you can see the little pluses there. So again, you can bring your friends in to do some team gameplay. Now, here we go. We found the match and we're loading into it right now. What I will do is I won't talk during the actual gameplay, but I will talk on just certain things to kind of explain it to you, um, like pre-gameplay stuff. So we are loading it right now. The game will load you into kind of like a little mini lobby. So you can see all the players loading into like a little mini lobby. It's already going to start. Uh, you, go, you can go ahead and pick your class right here or look at your classes and whatnot. And this is like one last final screen to go ahead and pick your class. And then you get to pick a spot in the map that you want to drop in. I believe in this gameplay, I dropped in the church, I believe. Uh, I'm trying to think here. Yeah, I did. It. Oh, yeah. Well, again, you can you can pinpoint and put little markers where you want to drop at. I did. Yeah, I did choose the church here. Um, if you're in a team, the first player in the first slot gets to drive the chopper, which is really cool. I kind of like that's their way of like, you know, loading into the map and dropping into the map. Everybody comes in on a Shinra copper, which is really cool. Uh, you do get to control it right here. Uh, you can kind of like mess with the altitudes of going up and down. You can see the map top right corner, your coordinates in the top. And then how many people are in the match? 75 is what I've been seeing. And then your kills on the top left. And then again, that's how you control the chopper. Left stick is to move. And then the up and down is to kind of mess with the altitude. And then when you're ready to drop, you go ahead and hit the little drop icon below uh, on the bottom there. Um, that's pretty much it. Again, there's a countdown to when you have to forcibly drop down. I think I was just making my way over to the church because I wanted to show at least one of the iconic um, locations in Final Fantasy VII. And yeah, I mean, I'm not going to talk too much. I kind of want you guys just to see me experience the gameplay. Any questions, just let me know. I might tune out my mic from this point forward so you guys can go ahead and enjoy this part right here. You drop down. There's a cool uh, drop screen right here. In fact, I might stay mic'd up just for a little bit just so you can see like what i'm doing and why i'm doing it so again i'm just dropping down the map right here cool little animation there was an enemy here not about to fight him because these guys are pretty strong here yeah the drakes are really strong here uh there's the other enemies i can't think of their name top of my head that are a lot easier to fight but i was not prepared to fight them and so there go some of the smaller enemies, the slug rays. Uh, you will see some bomb bombs in this game too. Uh, but yeah, you want to use your melee to take these guys out. And if you want to activate your skills, I activated my uh, my level one skill right there. That will level up over time as I level up within the actual match. Again, by taking kills. Um, what's it called? By defeating some of the uh, enemies in the maps. As well as over time, you just generally level up too by surviving. You level up as well. And again, you can automatically pick up weapons and ammunition if you choose to have that in the options menu there. Uh, uh, just by simply running towards a wall or to an object will allow you to run up it. Um, see, there's the shooting. There's the melee icon. There's the aim in on the top right there, on top of the melee icon. You can jump. You can crouch. To crouch and to just go uh, flat out prone, you just hold the down button. I don't think I ever showed it in my gameplay here. In the indicator, to see the footsteps? There's an enemy next to me. I was already getting shot at at this point. Um, so I believe I just turned around and definitely try to take out this enemy. Uh, you will see it here, though. There he goes. Yep. I definitely recommend when they get close range like that to well not as terrible as I just did it, but definitely take out the uh, take out the melee whatever your melee weapon is. Uh, close range is the best way to do it, unless you're just smooth at using the gun at close range. Shotgun, if you have a shotgun, obviously that's going to be really good for close range. But I didn't have a shotgun here, and I tend to spray a little bit, and I didn't want to have to like you know spray and uh, spray and uh, pray. But I think I did get him eventually. But again, I'll let the game kind of do the rest of it talking. I just wanted to talk about there's a material that you collect in the actual game. When you collect duplicates of the material, it does level you up. It does level that material up. Level three is the max that you can get or the max that I've seen that you can get. There you go, Simi. I think I do aim in here so you can see there goes some of the aim in. -ing. Yeah, it's, there goes some of the uh, aiming in. There goes more enemies you can just take out to help level up. There's the reload. Now, I did collect the Blizzard material, and I believe it was the Blind material. Uh, blizzard in this game is pretty cool. It's kind of like a little mini turret, whereas Blind is, well, Blind is just Blind. You know, you hit them, and it helps um, make it harder for them to see, which is great. Um, I think I go in for some of taking on some of the enemies here. Yeah, you do got to be careful because some of them do right in packs, so that's something you do got to worry about. 
Um, but it's really cool. I like the, I really like the striking animation with the melee combat. I don't know why. It's very satisfying. It gives me like um, what's the game? It gives me a Crisis Core kind of feels. There goes an enemy player right there. And then when you defeat enemies though, that little square uh, green box you saw, it is um, basically their loot and you can take it. There goes me trying to activate blind on him. There goes my turret. I think I got him from afar. And my turn was actually attacking somebody else. I don't even think I realized it right there. But there you go. I got Cure. I think Cure is one of the best material you're going to want to get. little pro tip. Because you're going to want to have access to being able to use Cure at any point. Because you do collect potions as well. Which is what you see in the bottom left corner there. The little zero icon with the... Oh, and a secret box. The secret boxes are what you want to look for in each time you play. Because the secret box is what gives you those puzzle pieces. For uh, exclusive kind of like um, skins. Pretty much just from what I've seen so far, it's kind of just more like the exclusive and rare skins. Um, but what I was saying was, yeah, you can get potions, uh, high potions, and I believe it was either an ether or an elixir. I don't remember the top of my head. Um, but those are the ones that I primarily saw. There's an enemy coming, and I'm going to go ahead and try to take them out. Uh, in the top right corner next to the map there, that is an auto run, a settings. And I don't think I've ever messed with that bottom option with the uh, caution triangle. And obviously, the other one's kind of like a free look with the eyeball on it. But I think I'm going to go ahead and cut out my audio here. I think I explained mostly everything here. Um, you'll, see, you'll see me use a mixture of melee, try to switch into, um, what's it called, to some gunplay at some point. I try to use some of my materia. Um, but you'll see a good little mix up here. So I'm going to go ahead and cut my uh, audio out here. Uh, enjoy this gameplay footage, and I'll come back in at the very end. Lucky me. Lucky me. Better heal. Better heal. To the end, see this through to the end. Tuck you in great. Tuck you in great. What is the seed? What is the seed? Nice one. I better nice keep one. up. I better keep up. Supply drops on its way. Supply drops on its way.
Better heal. 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 Monsters! Monsters! Made it this far. Made it this far. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. On its way. The fly drops on its way. Enemy defeated. Enemy defeated. Who's next? Better heal. Better heal. This is a good spot. This is a good spot. to me come to me monsters monsters 
there you have it <laughs> i got taken to the guy scoped in um don't forget that too because i have a habit where like i enjoy this game so much but i kind of just feel like i wish it was kind of more of like an action just mmo style game i forget to battle royale and you do have a good time just like taking out the actual enemies themselves but obviously just be careful but guys uh if i miss anything i think i it's a couple things i wanted to add in there was um for the material you can get stronger versions of the actual uh like fire you can get fire og and stuff like that i have seen it um there's another thing i wanted to mention too and i can't remember on the top of my tongue if you guys have any questions definitely just drop it in the uh, comment section down below and i can definitely answer them because i again there's probably a lot of things i'm forgetting within the actual video here um but be sure to drop it down below and i'll answer all your questions again see the secret box is where you do get the puzzle pieces to get access to those specialty uh like specialty exclusive um skins and stuff like that but yeah, guys, let me know. I enjoy this game. I'm super excited for this for this to release when it does. Oh, the other thing I wanted to say was there is control support being implemented and being worked on. So for those of you that want to have that control support, it looks like it will be getting it at some point. So which is that's really hype news. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. But guys, thank you for watching. If you're brand new to the channel, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. I'm Lethal One Up, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Yeah!